Oh, good morning, guys. Uh, I thought I would show you. I just, this is new. I'm starting to milk in the morning here. And thought I'd tag, have you guys come along. So let's get everything set up. First, you gotta set the pasteurizer up and make them as much noise as possible just to make sure everyone knows I'm here. Let the water drain out of this line here. Most of it that is. So normally I'd get up around 450, or try to that is. But now you want to get up an hour earlier ahead of time before feeding, obviously here to milk back here. I know some of the comments were saying we want to see milking content. Well, I'll be milking this morning. So, set the pasteurizer up. Have a hose going over into the tank. It's going to be heating up here. We'll set this up. Put this booth. Turn it over because it was on wash. Go to off. Alright. Now we can go in here and set everything up. Just got to find a place to mount the magnet. Eight and four, we have to kink the hoses because they're always on. So, as you can tell, high quality parlor back here. I think there's an extra one that I have to kick though too. Next up, get the rail set up and open. Well, the entrance gate's already open. We're gonna go get cows now. This is a one-sided eight herringbone par, so eight cows max. These ladies along. Come on, fill up the parlor. Milking is a relief for them, so they're probably ready to get milked. Come on. <coughs> All right. Nope. Nope. Okay. Entrance gate. Close that. Now we'll go down through. We don't have a foam iodine, but we have a dipper that I'll go down through, dip them, check them.
was checking the cow, I was checking for mastitis. Usually it shows right away. This one, you can see there's white chunks on the ground. I'm just trying to remember which side or which quarter it was from. Yeah, right here, the back left. That's mastitis. So, uh, the only good one here, they have red bands. So, the only good one here is here. And once they're back here for five days or whatever, they're treated and they don't show any more mastitis, they're good. So, all right. Now we can uh, turn on the parlor here and put milkers on. There's probably one that I forgot the king. I know the fourth and eighth one, but I, know, I think there's some another one. So we'll just make sure I'm going this way because I forget stuff. All right. And I ready here a milker. I'll put that one on first. This one right here. All right, let's put milkers on. So what I do next here, since the fourth one here was good, I get our number, 1826. I'll come over here to this lovely chart that we looks mighty confusing for some people. And I'll find 826. The other cows that said mass tire, so I don't have to do anything to them. They're staying back here. Uh, but pretty much we just wait. And I went out there and checked to make sure everything was working properly. Pretty much just wait till they're done. Put iodine on them and send them on the way, bring the next row on. It's just two rows and then we're done and then we go to feed. But it's milking still, so as you can tell by earlier, I was used to the old parlor. I, you have to hit the manual button and then hit the release button here. Or the, I should say release. The other one in the parlor releases it and brings it down. I don't know what the proper name is for that. But, um, Pretty much, I'm just used to that where I can hit the button and then attach it here. I have to, it's hanging on the ground, so I have to reach down. So it's a different process. All right, let's get these cows dipped and out of here. So it was two and seven. So 1967, watch me forget the numbers. So 1967, and I'm gonna have to look up top here. So I'm gonna quickly do that here. Climb the parlor side. 14, uh, 14, 438. So 1967 and 438. All right. As you can tell, this cow is pretty much done. Just feel the otter, it's soft. The milk's drained from it. Usually it's hard when, so they're mostly done. So I'm gonna dip them and send them off. Like this one's still going. There's still milk in that one. A little bit of milk, almost done. She's still going. And this one's done. And this one's making noise. Like a pet peeve of mine. Move it or lose it, ladies. And then I'll just flip this off. 
All right, now we can wash up. I'll unkink these hoses here and then put the uh, stuff for the washers on. And yeah, it goes easy when you spray them. Make them, make these wet first so they slide on. Fan off. Everything's done here. And turn off the light. Now I just gotta put everything back and get ready for wash. Close this gate. last put it to wash and we're ready to go now it's just time to go feed it's the next day guys um so this morning well i've been milking here but that's gonna be something i'm gonna start to do i thought my brother's coming to the farm too he's going separate though um, he's gonna high pressure wash the manure spreader no one's forcing him to do it he wants hours so he's doing it you see that he sees that there's work that needs to be done and he's gonna do it. Which I'm quite okay with because I don't feel like getting covered in crap. Have fun. So I think this tractor, the problem was that uh, it was a fuel pump that needs to be worked on. So my, uh, well, my co cousin's husband's gonna be here working on that. He used to work here, but they have a, uh, they go around and fix farm equipment. Thatcher's gonna wheel this down. He offered to, so I just gotta get a tractor. Now, I'm getting all the treatment this morning. He opened the door for me. And he's closing it, how nice. So I'm gonna get this set up for him and then I'm gonna go. There's some mowing that needs to be done, so I'll time lapse this. Thank you. 